Hello YouTube. Uh, these days I had some time to make uh, these T-nuts in order to clamp the uh, fourth axis to the table. And also here I have uh, already, I'm already testing my new UI that I'm building with uh, Qt Pi VCP. And so I, I, I thought I'd give it a test for the backlash of uh, fourth axis. Uh, what I've done, I, I, um, I'm holding a key in the jaws of the fourth uh, jaw independent chuck so that uh, it has a bit more uh, lever. So that basically I'm trying to maximize the error. As you can see here, now we are on zero and using the pendant, I'm having uh, difficulties focusing this. I'm going it's not quite relevant if I 300 of a millimeter uh, because this should be in degrees actually and I'm measuring I'm, I'm actually measuring a length and this length will depend on how long the lever is so as you can see it comes back to the same point Sorry about the difficulties focusing, I'm uh, filming with my iPhone and it's a quite old model. Okay, so you've seen how this works and now I'm going to try to uh, put some pressure here and see how the needle moves. So there is a bit of elasticity and uh, but if I if I let it it also it came it comes back to the previous position. So once I push it and if I let it it, it goes back. But also this ties to how <clears throat> it was the resolution of this motor and um, to the gear ratio, I, I don't think the cycloidal drive has backlash, or at least not significant. I'm gonna try and act some. So here, here you can see how long the lever is. It's about 25 millimeters. It's about 25 millimeters from the center of uh, rotation. So that's one of the reason the error seems. Uh, quite big. Thank you.